Hi everyone, welcome to this conversation with Miriam van Rutt and Liz Goller about what it is actually like to be in Invoke Your Client's Magic, our soul-based coaching certification program. So we're very keen on giving you actual people with actual experiences so that you can have a real feel um, for, um, for, yeah, for how the program works. So we're going to start, ladies, and we're just we're all very serious right now. It's just what we were tapping into in our pre-chat. Um, we're going to start with what brought you to Invoke. So what made you say, yes, this is the program that I want to take part in? Who would like to start? Should I start? <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw Soul Based Coaching, uh, the Soul Based Coaching Academy uh, on someone else's Facebook site. Uh, she was doing some cool stuff. She's a yoga teacher. And then I saw that she did a training at the Solvay's Coaching Academy. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. It's an interesting name. So I looked it up. And actually, when I saw the website, I saw you on a mic. Then there was an interview with you. And I really liked your energy. And I was reading a little bit about it. And for whatever reason, I got called to it. And I really felt that this is something I wanted to do. And I did like the five-day training um, with all the short uh, things. And actually, that. For me, I still didn't know what I was signing up for, but I knew I was going to do it. Um, so it was really like more like a magnetic pull because it felt like it was something different. And I had no idea what I was signing up for. Great. So that's a really good place to start from. So no idea <laughs> where you were signing up for. And so yeah. just to get, get a little bit of sense, like what were you doing in your day to day life um, hmm. at the time? Yeah, so I had done some coaching before and I had done a coaching education before, but that was very cognitive, very much conceptual ideas. And I, and it, it really didn't resonate with me anymore, but I still really enjoyed the coaching element. And I think that's also why I was pulled to this because it felt like a completely different way of doing it. Mm. And that is indeed also what I got. Yeah. And I'm, I'm now really um, looking forward to the idea of coaching again, where for a while it really, it didn't work for me. Mm. Um, mm. So I was sort of searching for what, how, what is it, what, how I'm going to do that, what am I going to do? And it's, it kept pulling, but I, it, something was off. Yeah, something was off. And so that, that was the pull towards soul based coaching that you were feeling like, hey, this is, yeah. this is something different. Um, yeah. But then also, what am I getting myself into? We'll, we'll get back to that in a moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful um it, it's got a little bit to do with a paradigm shift i think which is you know part of why we can't always explain in cognitive terms to people what it is that we're doing because yeah. it doesn't come from the same like conceptual frames that people are used to Indeed. but yeah we'll, we'll definitely talk more about that in a moment um, yeah and i think the fact that it was a more feminine approach also really spoke to me mm. yeah yeah great wonderful thank you and Liz, how about you? What brought you to our doorstep? Yeah, I mean, I had basically moved from a corporate job career in 2015 to a spiritual search and discovery and, and yoga was my first uh, introduction. And then that was morphing into more intuitive. Um, well, I use the word coaching because until this course, I'd never embarked on a proper qualification around coaching but in 2019 I ended up mentoring my first newly qualified yoga teacher and actually coaching you know facilitating nurturing it's, it's something that's always been part of my my journey and my own self-growth and sharing it with women particularly who I've met also you know trying to find meaning and connection so I had been looking at coaching for a while on and off for a few years but the courses were it just wasn't calling me and I I'd embarked on a sort of divine feminine led pilgrimage and I knew that I wanted to tap more into the intuitive into the, the feminine approach and I just wasn't finding anything that resonated and then out of nowhere <laughs> I just moved to a new town new house wasn't looking I received an email um, from one of your circle of women and I just knew it was this you know my intuitive connection is is much more powerful now of the years of starting to trust it but again it was this feeling and then I signed up for the five day again I didn't engage fully because I was busy doing other things I just knew I knew they were almost false steps <laughs> to give myself permission to say yes like I, I was already a yes um, and then what you in particular Anamik there was something about your energy that really called to me and there was just a full body hell yes this is what I've been waiting for and looking for um, and it hasn't disappointed 
at all. Great, yeah. And so for both of you then, it was about really just having that kind of draw to coaching, that pull from coaching, but not, not coaching as you knew it, like not coaching as uh, as we so often see out there. Um, and so, okay, and then, then you kind of dove in into this thing that you're not quite sure of what it was. Miriam, I'm never going to forget, I think, one of the um, metaphors that you use to describe your experience, like pretty early on in the in the uh, in the course. Mm -hmm. And it was about um, Alice in Wonderland, wasn't it? It was like falling into the rabbit hole and kind of going, yeah. what? You want to yeah. share a little bit about what that was like for you? Yeah, I still experience that, actually. Um, so indeed. So I have, I have been doing coaching and I've also come from a corporate background. So I'm very used to all the very conceptual way of working. And then, but I've also done psychedelics. And actually for me, that's this, the way of approaching your subconsciousness, uh, soul-based coaching really reminds me of that. And it really is as if you go into the rabbit hole and everything is upside down and there's a whole new world to discover. And every time there's something new, in the beginning when we started, for me, it really was like, really, we're having these few basic questions and we're going to build something with that? And we're going to spend a year on it? How? I make it out. <laughs> I knew I wanted to do it, but I really wasn't sure what we were doing. And then, indeed, it became, it was like this big unfolding and cons and I really walked around for quite a while. It felt like I was walking on someone's hand and like, oh, wow, oh, and that's also possible. Oh, and then we're doing that. And... It really felt like it was like why did i never know this existed this other way of looking at us and indeed i had touched upon it with some of the psychedelics but this is i i, I really like being able to do it without any substances so really exploring what we have in us and the fact that there is so much in us which is really there and is telling us all these things and all we have to do is just step into it yeah. And, and then what happens? Like, what is the, because um, because the exploring and there's always something there. Um, but, but of course, there's like a point to doing the work, right? Absolutely. Um, just, yeah. just, you know, for people yeah. who are like listening and, and, and are like psychedelics, what do you mean? Like coaching? What do you, how does this oh, yeah. come together? <laughs> let's also, let's also loop that bit yeah, in. Like, bit what ha what happens when you do it that way? Well, well, my experience is that, and the reason, that, so with the, when people are talking conceptually and they're trying to solve problems with their minds, a lot of people are getting stuck and they might think they got their way out of it, but they're actually not. They always fall back in the same old patterns. And that was why I was getting so frustrated with coaching and everybody's so super busy and they're all on these hamster mills. And so how do you really get through to somebody? And I think by really touching into what's inside of us, where that symbolic language is, it's really like things, instead of being, being resolved here, it's resolved on a completely different level. And the insights there are so much more profound and they really make someone want to change from the inside out. And it's not anymore the head trying to run the show, but it's really a really much deeper connection to whatever is happening inside them and really tapping into what is important for them. Because the mind is... Yeah, it's very confusing and, and can really lead us astray as well. Mm. So for me, it's really like that deep connection and these, this, this, this symbolic world really connects back to our real lives and it's finding out where all these connections are. But a lot, there's so much inner knowing which we can tap into. Yeah. And that's really strong. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. I love how the metaphors are weaving themselves into you know, as you're speaking um, and, and that sense of like being being like falling down the rabbit hole and then, you know, walking on someone's hand through kind of what is possible. In a way, it feels to me like that is what we're doing with our clients as well when we're walk, walk, you know, working with them in a That's sense true. of like sh like giving them access to so many ways in which their stuff can be resolved and, and healing can take place and changes can happen. Yeah, it's a beautiful, uh, like double, <laughs> double layered um, yes. metaphor there. Yeah, thank you. I love what you're saying about the psychedelics. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, that's like a, a beautiful um, layer to it as well. It's got, it's kind of like it has that sacred and tangible, and yet very, very deep, sacred and magical. Sacred, 
yeah experience to it as well yeah <laughs> Liz tell us I wanted to follow on to what Miriam was saying because a lot of what she said is you know resonates with me but there's something for me that's deeply healing about the mechanism because it is that you're going into this imaginary world almost that's, that's coming from deep within you that you're voicing and not only, you know, I was actually thinking when Miriam was talking, as a child, you're kind of told, oh, imaginary friends don't exist. You know, these, these worlds like Alice in Wonderland, they're, they're fantasy, they're not real. But there is a reality that lives inside us, the daydreamer, the playfulness, the, the fool, the spirit, the, the you know, the, the pioneer. And not only do you get to express that side of yourself, it's validated by this coaching method because we take everything that they say as a metaphor, as a symbol, seriously, as a real part of their experience and expression. And for me, as, as someone who's been developing their intuition and, and relying on that as um, the way I make decisions, the way I move forward in life, which is very challenging when you've been an intellectual and very much based with the mind, right, wrong concepts, to follow your heart is a really challenging shift to make. And this coaching method, even though I've done a lot of work in this area, there's just been something that's really dialed up in terms of confidence, in terms of faith, in trust and connection through diving deeper into the internal psyche and the expression through symbol and metaphor that this method provides. And the comfort that that's given me and, and the trust in myself and in, in the greater flow of things, it, it's, it's beyond profound. I mean, I, I do struggle to really convey the depth of <laughs> meaning and connection that this coaching method has given me in learning it never mind what I can do for other people and what I'm seeing at this you know fumbly yet stage with clients I just I wish I do wish that people because this is the problem with trying to describe it because we don't have a learned system to describe it because we've grown up in an over intellectualized ego-led mind-based world so we're trying to, you know, bring people over to this soft, healing, womb space, heart space, where we all long for it. We just don't know how to get there. And we don't know the language it's to explain it yet, because we're not all experiencing it all of the time. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've gone on a tangent, but it, it really is a profound way of expressing your innest, inner deepest thoughts that are witnessed and held and taken seriously with gravitas. And that in itself is healing and helps move energy in my experience. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah and it's like connect to our life force, I think. And you want to say more about that, Miriam? Well, I feel because it's, it, I really feel that the mind is not serving us anymore in, in the way it, it has sort of become so independent of us. Mm -hmm. And by uh, with this method, we really connect to our core, so we connect to our life force, and it really you can actually feel your life force in in your body, and then it also becomes part of your entire system, not just of your body, but your mind will be in, is integrated because it feels like it's no longer on its own. Mm -hmm. The mind is is really on its own most of the time, right? Because it it's and it's and it's trying to do its best, but it really doesn't have all the tools. And I think by doing this work. We're, we're helping the mind to be supported by the rest of our system. So it can, it can relax and you can tap into your life force. Yeah, beautiful. It is uh, like all of these things. Yes, and, and there, there's going to be so much more popping up. Liz, go on, take it. But I was on that point, Miriam. It's the mind is limited because it can only experience itself. And this, yeah. this embodied practice, you know, I've personally felt the presence of my inner child in, and my shadow aspects. They have been so much more firmly here with me in my day-to-day, -day, but also in the coaching sessions. And I've been, I've done a lot of healing work, but there's something about the presencing that happens in this technique. And also, you know, one of the dear friends I worked with, um, her, she was talking to her ovaries, you know, her ovaries are giving her medicine and giving her like wisdom, but the mind, it, that, that, there isn't a pathway. Um, so just wanted to follow on that the mind is a limited resource and, mm -hmm this technique just takes you into a whole different like sense-based healing uh, conversation with yourself, which again, can only make you feel more confident and grounded in yourself as an individual making decisions in your own best interests. Yeah, yeah and it's, it, this is why it, it, I love listening to you because I'm like, yes, yes, all of these things, like all of these things are like, yeah. for me, it's like we're giving people access to this inner treasure trove of, 
of yeah. like resources and possibilities and you know and and you know for, for healing for transformation for growth for change that are unparalleled and it's not the kind of um wishy-washy new age oh if you just think mm -hmm. it you can have it no it is actual embodied like lived experience of of what that is like and that is like you know what happens when we when we help people get in touch with that is is that there's a lot of the things that are happening that that you were sharing about how your confidence grows how your trust in life grows how like so many things make so much more sense how you you know start to trust your instincts and your intuition but then there's another magical thing happening and that is that you know, you start to show up differently in life, you start to do things in a different way, even if you're not, it's not an action plan, it's not something that you sit down and go, well, I'm now going to do this, because that fits this thing that I want. No, it is that thing, then, and you're kind of noticing yourself going, and you're thinking, oh, oh, that's what I do now, oh, cool, yeah, yeah, that, oh, that feels really <laughs> good, and so it's like, it, it, like, the change happened, like, it, it has already happened in, in our clients, and then, like a really interesting thing I find is that so often that change then is reflected back to what comes towards people, like what is offered to them. So mm -hmm. in a way that this, this is manifestation work, but again, it's not the kind of manifestation work which says, you know, just tune into happy thoughts, just raise your um, vibration, you just do your vision boards and all the things. And, and these can be beautiful practices, but this is like, for me, this is where it's almost like life alchemy. It's like mm -hmm. at that deepest part of what makes us humans, like that, yeah. that impulse that, that brings us forth every moment of every day and just learning to be with that impulse rather than this abstracted idea that we have about ourselves or what we want or what that impulse might be. And then make it like a action planned, controlled kind of like, yes, this is how we do that. Um, so it's taking us there much yeah. deeper. Keep raising my hand like we're in class. But yeah, we are in class. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pulling it in on an energetic levels, so, you know, with the law of attraction and manifestation, I've, I've looked at all that for years. And this is embodiment of that energy. And when you go into your inner landscape, you have to resource yourself and look at your blocks and your resistances and un, you know unearth those so that you can clear and open up your energy and what I would say for me it's like um, the dial's been turned up for me massively since the start of this course in terms of my intuitive connection and the manifestation and they are interlinked and again it's not about saying I want this and I must have it this way it's more I want to feel and experience these types of things in my life and then allowing the universe to to provide you with opportunities that you can you can step forward with you know one of the there's been so rapid many rapid changes since I started this course but you know I did some work on abundance and receiving money and and what came through was sort of wanting a part-time job that I didn't have to think about but I enjoyed and within a week I was given an opportunity <laughs> for a part-time job and you know meeting my boyfriend has all happened around the energy work that, that I was using this course for um so it's just and there's little things you know I just feel a lot more deeply connected intuitively and that means you can hear the whispers the softer the whisper you know even the little things you know where to turn and, and it is it's it's really powerful manifestation and connection that comes through mm. Gorgeous. And, and I love the, you know, the, 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 the practical examples, right, of, of how things turn up then in life, because it's not just, it, it has that aspect of, um, of deep, sacred inner work, which is fun, because it's, it's a metaphor. And, it, you know, sometimes it's flying unicorns, and sometimes it's like other things. And, um, like, it's never, we can never quite um, um, predict what's going to happen with clients. But then at the same time, it's also very much about, yes, I now have the kind of work that I want, or yes, I now have that financial spaciousness uh, that just really serves me at this moment, or, you know, what, whatever it is that um, clients come to us for. So that's the trust and the magic in the connection in symbols. We've always been storytellers. You know, my, one of my intuitive uh, development's been through tarot and I love the connection with this coaching modality and the symbology with tarot cards and I've had literal like the metaphors that have been unearthed in me have literally been confirmed <laughs> through synchronization in real life 
a two by eight, like a, a ridiculous degree. And I mean, I, if I can share it personal because I'm happy to, but I was in a coaching session about how I'm moving forwards and I was on a horse and then the horse meets another horse and then the horse, the other horse turns into a, a man. And I was like, what? I, I'm an independent woman. I'm on my self healing journey. I can't, the next phase can't be waiting for someone else. You know, that's, that's deeply anti-feminist and <laughs> everything that's else. That's not me. Yeah. No, you know, I'm a strong woman and I've healed this stuff. Um, and then I let it all play out and I was like, well, what can I resource while I see, you know, what this is um, and stay focused on feeling good. And then I pulled a tarot card after the session and I pulled the Knight of Pentacles, which is a man on a horse. <laughs> so it was, you know, it was funny, made us all smile. And then I met my partner my boyfriend and he has a connection to horses. Um, and it's just a cosmic joke, you know, and it's so rewarding and satisfying to be on this side of, of the playfulness of, of this kind of life experience. Um, but, it, but it, yeah, these, symbols you know we used to work with these archetypes and symbols as you know humans to connect you know the moon the sun the stars it all has sacred meaning and symbology and and we've forgotten that you know and what's outside reflects the inside and this technique is just unearthing that that inner wisdom um, that deeply moves us and connects us to our lineages to ourselves but also to the group and that's the other thing that i wanted just to share in this session the group that I'm in, in the pod, not only are the facilitators, you know, beautiful humans and they know their stuff and you are getting your value for money, time and energy. But the women, you know, it is women in my group, the women that, that we are working together, we are showing up for each other, the connection yeah. is all over and it's all via Zoom. We're all over the world, but the connect <laughs> is one of the deepest, most joyful healing connections that I've ever had in, in these kind of groups. And you know, that's a testament to you, Anamique, and your team for, for the energy of the people that you're attracting, because it's been a beautiful experience to the extent where I'm starting to get twitchy that it's ending, you know, the school sessions are going to come to an end and I'm, you know, not going to get that, that same love and hit and community feeling that, that we've been so blessed to have since June last year. Yeah. So I just want to really, you know, we've been going through a trying time in the last couple of years, we've been isolated. And that's the other thing that this course really has given me is community and connection with like minded souls who are also willing to get themselves down and dirty and, and reveal their most vulnerable parts to each other. It, it's just such a healing experience. Mm. Yeah, I fully I'm, I'm fully with you on that. We, <laughs> it's such a beautiful community of people. Yeah. And it has been wonderful to connect with everybody, even though indeed we're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the things that I really love about the work, I mean, yes, it is, you know, partly it's down to down to us and 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 to me very consciously choosing how to how to bring this together and, and what to put in place and, and kind of like what our our our, our um, playground rules are, so you like, like how we engage with each other and how we set up our containers. Um, but at the same time, it is also a testament to the power of the tools that we're using. Yeah. And it is because part of this is, um, I know that for a lot of people, uh, women specifically, but, but also men, um, being in community is not necessarily a nurturing experience. There is very often, there's all sorts of drama things happening or, or, or like playing in the background or um, and because of the skills and the tools that we teach and because of the you know the fact that we are um, very consciously choosing to act in alignment with those tools so that you know we want to walk our talk um, it means that everyone gets to be themselves everyone gets to show up as they are in a field that is utterly respectful and curious like you, you need to be both um and so th there is you know one of the one of the play playground rules that we have is about honesty being super important and kindness and they go together it's like we can only learn together when people are willing to share what's going on and to give feedback in terms of things that do work well some you know sometimes it's about things that didn't work well in a specific exercise for them and of course we give people tools to do that but it is the willingness to do that to share that and to be curious about what happens and not make it into like a personal whatever minefield that it can turn into without you know in in outside of this container um and that means that the people that are here um are great people for once just because they're here 
um, you know, <laughs> it just makes you makes you that sorry. Uh, but also we give you, you know, we give everyone the tools to navigate um, that space together. Because yes, there is like really deep personal work happening. Everyone is learning, so no one's perfect. Actually, I am not even perfect. We do have a perfection department in the academy. I don't know if you know about this, but there's like two people who are responsible for all things that need to happen perfectly. None, you know, no one else ever gets to that department. It's like a door that's closed most of the time. We don't really believe in, in perfection in that way. So we're all learning. And for, you know, for that to be able to be possible, we need to be willing to, be, you know, to meet each other as we are, mm. just as we are. And with a willingness to be you know, humble about it and, and to just, yeah, not take everything too seriously, but definitely take things seriously too. <laughs> it's that field of, of, of juxtaposition and, and, and contradiction and, and paradox yeah. where, the, where the real magic can start to happen in terms of the learning. Yeah. And it's also what you're willing to invest, you know, and our, our particular pod. I think have been very enthusiastic <laughs> and committed. Very eager. Yeah. <laughs> very eager to learn. To ourselves, to our journey. It's like we, there's definitely an energy of wanting to show up and invest in this and then let it, let it take hold and do the work. Um, and yeah, it, it, as I say, it's just been, it's such a huge experience. Yeah. Mm, fantastic. Do you want to add something to that, Miriam? Yeah. One thing I want to add is because for me, that, that wasn't clear, right? When I started, I really was like, hey, how are we going to do this for a year with these tools, right? With just these questions. And every time we are getting new uh, information in the course, I'm completely impressed by the depth of the methods. And by, because it isn't like we, oh yeah, we just go to your inner uh, side and there you find your wisdom and then everything happens. And sometimes, sometimes that is indeed what happens, right? Because someone is really, it's, it's like such a deep, connection of knowing and, and things start shifting from there. But we have all this work to really counter check everything, all the limiting beliefs, all the fears, and we just check them all back. And it's such a profound method of really checking everything back so you really solidify what's going on in someone's inner landscape. And for me, it's like, it's so beautiful that, 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 there, yeah, that there is such a depth to this method. And that's also when I talk about Alice in Wonderland, it's like, wow, there's more. Oh, and it's, it's really like all these puzzle pieces who are coming together. And then there, it's like we, for me, the, uh, doing the training is like uh, developing the inner landscape of soul-based coaching. It really also felt like we went in, we didn't know what it was. And every time it was a little piece and then everything magically came together. Hmm. And it feels like a very, very concise and very, complete method mm. well thank you and, and 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 yes i agree it is it is it is not just intuitive it is not just you know beautiful and fun and magic yeah. it, there's a real groundedness to the methodology yeah. that we're that we're teaching and and there is a for me there's like a simplicity to it but mm. it's not necessarily simple simple or easy or um because <laughs> it is it is that kind of you know, you could say, like you said at the beginning, like, yeah, there's like 12 basic questions. How can we fill a year with like 12 basic questions, right? That, yes. That's true. Um, and then at the same time, with these questions, with the way we ask them, with the way that we pay attention to patterns, to resources, mm -hmm. to all sorts of things, it's like we're able to build that riverbed that we often talk about in our, in our um, you know, when we talk about this work. That, that, that really supports that flow of unfolding for our clients. But we can do that in a way that is really multi-layered and, and kind of can meet the complexity of life. So it doesn't, you know, a client doesn't have to kind of simplify um, their existence into like, yes, A plus B equals C. Yeah. Um, no, we can actually meet them exactly where they are and as they are. Um, and this is where it's like, it's almost like we're weaving this web while we're in this session with them in real time. And that's exactly the web that is going to support this client through mm. the work. And yeah, this is this is this is why we can spend a year <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah. on exploring it. And, and even then there's there's yeah. always more to explore. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so beautiful. And, and, and exactly as you were saying, um, Liz as well, the, the willingness to show up 
it's like that makes all the difference like there is yeah. this is like a um the course is like a treasure chest filled with yumminess and goodness and interesting stuff and if you're willing to let yourself be utterly shaken <laughs> then there's a lot that you can take from the course both in terms of skills and what you can do for people in terms of coaching but also for your for your own life and I think this is kind of circling back to the beginning it's like the, I didn't know what I was getting into part <laughs> right it is it's like we, we're really we don't it's not on purpose we're not kind of trying to keep things from anyone but it really is that um we're working from such a different paradigm we're yeah. really turning things upside down and it is it's like it's it's hard for for your mind if you've not experienced this it's hard for your mind to even kind of make a coherent picture out of it because yeah. it doesn't quite have the language it doesn't have um, like the, the the frame of reference to put it in for it to make sense the way that it does for you now you know mm -hmm. having gone through so much of the program okay. so I think it's both a blessing and a curse a little bit <laughs> I mean it's a it's it's a blessing in terms of you know it, it shows us that we are actually doing something very very different than most other coaching modalities out there um, and at the same time it's like um Oh, if only we could whisper the sweet words in people's ears so that they knew, yes, this is the thing. This is the thing that yeah. is possible that you have no idea of um, exists. But yes, this is why we do um, things like the five day training, which you both mentioned. So we have uh, regular uh, free taster trainings um, for people to just come and experience because that's the way that you're going to find out whether this is indeed yes for you, like it is for Miriam and and for Liz, yes, go on. I would say to anybody who you, the best thing to do is to have a session with yeah. who's, a, who's a soul based coach. Is for me, even when I knew this was a yes, um, I worked with you, Anamik, and and suddenly I was in this experience of wow, this is this is so much bigger than you know what you can appreciate when you first start the course or what you can glean from from you know the, even the five-day immersion and it's a real generous offer to anybody who's thinking about that I was blown away by how much content and support was offered in the five free days because I've done a lot of free marketing coaching program you know tasters and yeah th this was this was already different which gave me confidence to, to follow my yes um but yeah, I would say just try a session because that's when you feel the power of, of this process really taking hold. And for me, I was then really excited to learn how to do that, to, you know, to start to learn to do what you do, you know, because I just had far more trust in the process because I'd already felt the shift in the, you know, one of the first sessions. Mm. Experiencing it is really important with this type of, of coaching um, style yeah absolutely i wholeheartedly agree and you know if you're watching this and you're like oh i want to check out you know and work with liz or with miriam we're going to make sure that um you can easily find them their um connection links should be somewhere around this video um so let's just check on on that uh, miriam where should people go to find you uh, i think to my website that's where website. i explain whatever i'm doing yeah great and you work in english and and dutch i assume yes absolutely yes. yeah mainly yeah. in English, but also definitely also in Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So helpful for people to know. Um, Liz, where do people find you? At the moment it's YouTube and or Telegram. Um, they're, the, they're the easiest places to get in touch with me. Great. So we'll make sure that the exact links are um, are easy to find for your works. Um, thank you both for sharing. And um, I I've already seen you work like both of you and it's so beautiful and it's like ah, so worthwhile um to to work with you and I know it's it, like it's e even going to get even better in the next couple of months so uh we're going to be watching you no we're so yeah. happy that you're part of the community so yeah. thank you both for sharing your experiences thanks everyone for watching if you have any questions for us let us know in the comments or send us a DM uh, we're very happy to answer all right Let's hello everyone. Bye bye. Thanks. <laughs>